Oh, no! Oh, no! Mate, this game is unforgiving, but also very appealing to me. Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. So today, we're going to be talking about a, a game that's been out for a while, but the reason why we're doing this review is because we got it recommended by a friend who actually gave us a code. So I spent a good time and effort seeing what the game's like, and you know what? It's really, really good. And I can't believe I haven't seen this game. So let's talk about The Flame and the Flood. The Flame and the Flood is like a roguelike river journey through the backwaters of what it could be look like a flooded apocalypse in America. Um, there is crafting, there is trying to stay alive, keep your thirst, keep your sleep going, you know everything just like a proper survival base it has that kind of element like don't starve and that was a really really good game but do you know the cool thing about this game right the, the really cool thing about this game so get this the art directors are from the team bioshock which is amazing and then the rest of the team are veterans of halo guitar hero and rock band series and they've all come together to make this wonderful game and i cannot believe i have not Played this. This came out in 2016, might I add. So, again, this is a game I haven't seen and I should have picked up. As Bioshock is one of my favorites and I've got the tattoos to prove it. Um, yeah, this was quite a good journey. I wasn't expecting of how much of an enjoyable game this was. So, the game plot is you play as a character called Scout and you have a pet dog which ends up giving you a bag which has a radioactive in there and you realize there is life somewhere so you need to travel down these river rafts and this flooded area to uh, get to that place however you have to have your survival instincts by crafting learning to eat uh, watching out for poisonous things uh, if you get attacked there might be a damage and you'll need to figure out a way to um, survive to pretty much a proper survival game which is surprising uh, from a top down. You can craft from like campfires, animal traps, um, you know, all, all the necessary tools. One of the cool features again is the survival aspects. You know, you could either be stung, you're poisoned, uh, ate bad food, um, you know, you could have lacerations or, you know, internal bleeding and you need to like bandage yourself up and all that shenanigans. The cool thing, another cool thing which I like on this game is when you're going down the river raft, you'll see these little icons. There are different areas to explore, and when you stop by, you'll need to go and have a look and adventure to see what supplies you can get to keep yourself surviving no, throughout right? the routes. Um, there are different icons like the forest, camp, church, heck, even like people you can talk to, which is cool. Not to mention uh, the boat upgrades. Let's talk about that. You'll f uh, there's a symbol which is the dock, and if you get on there, if you've got enough supplies, the metal or any old wood or so, you can upgrade your boat to have more storage, have a cooking pot in there, um, and all sorts. Uh, not to mention you need to survive by eating and drinking. So you need to like purify water. You've got to cook proper food or the way how to cook it. Um, you need to sleep, so you'll need to find a landmark, and hopefully there is somewhere to sleep. Um, there are two game modes. There are the story mode, which is just like, you know, if you die, you can reload back from checkpoint. Or do what I do, which is a hardcore man myself, uh, survival mode, which is permanent death. And I gotta say, I prefer the permanent death on this, because it's a challenge to get to there. And if you don't get to there, then you're like, damn. And it gives you like a, um... A record of how long you are and how long you've traveled there is an endless mode but i believe you can do that now the game is really really good um th there is some flaws to it though i i have no idea how to attack animals that's that's a thing i think you've got to get like a bow and arrow a bow and arrow is a pain in the bum to get but uh, i think once you get that you can absolutely defend yourself which is cool um i've been pl i've been playing this for the past four hours and 
I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm learning new things every step of the way, like uh, new, like make your own clothes to prevent yourself from having your inside clothes completely soaking. Um, if you've been hurt really badly, your character will start walking slowly. Um, all the good necessary things. But, as I said, there is a story to this and there are quests involved as well in certain areas for your roguelike style. Um, however, make sure you stop every single place and try not to crash in anything on the river raft or when you're rafting down because you can damage your boat. But you can repair it, however that is a risk you're willing to take or you can upgrade it, it's entirely up to you. But the game is so good, the music! So, and now to another thing, the music is absolutely incredible, I love it, <laughs> I really do. The whole banjo music is amazing and uh, very uh, country folk, I'll tell you that. It, it goes really well with the game and the art style is, of course, mwah, it's lovely. Uh, I quite like the art style. Uh, I like the whole little icon where your character starts to, I guess, I wouldn't say decay, but bleed and look like it's not happy. Uh, you do have your crafting sets and you will learn as you keep going further and further. Not to mention, not to mention the items. You can store stuff in your boat, but um, yeah, you'll need to upgrade your boat in order to have more storage. You can give it to your dog uh, and you can give it to yourself. Um, that's pretty much that. The dog itself can sense danger, uh, supplies, so if you hear a barking you'll know he's looking, he's watching out for you at all times. You don't need to feed the dog, you don't need to do anything, you just got to focus on yourself from what I've seen in the game. And the game for itself, the price tag is actually really good, it's decent. It's £14.99, so I'm guessing $20 in the US, but for, for what it's worth, it is really good. And no matter how many times you uh, get back in the game, it's always different. Proce random procedural areas as well, uh, let alone the rafts. And uh, yeah, I would pick it up if I was you. And that is my little review of The Flame and the Flood. It is such a good game. Check it out. And uh, we'll be bringing some more awesome content. We have a new Discord channel. Now, our new Discord channel is nice and fresh, and it's there to help everyone, as well as making new friends. We're going to put that down in the description. Now, we've also got a new Twitter page. Big shout out to Luke and one of the team members for um, creating that. He's going to be actively posting stuff up, and so far, he's doing a fantastic job. Man, we got it all new. We got the Discord, we got the Twitter, and we hope to see you on the new Discord and also follow us on Twitter. I'll catch you guys soon. You take care and have a wonderful day.